everyone's worried about their cholesterol. Yes, they are. And unfortunately, often they're not looking at the big picture, which is what is the environment that cholesterol is living in? Now, what matters really is not so much what your absolute cholesterol is, more what matters is what's the likelihood that that cholesterol is going to end up as a plaque or as hardening of the arteries. So when you look at someone and try to do an evaluation of their cardiovascular risk, there are many other things that need to get looked at. Uh, high sensitive C-reactive protein is an example. Now we've been doing this for years and it's finally come into the limelight um, with some uh, fairly recent journal publications. But this is an inflammatory protein that your liver makes as a response to any one of a number of inflammations in your body and it makes your cholesterol more sticky. What that means is you could have a cholesterol of 170, but if this chemical is elevated in your blood, you may have a very high risk of atherosclerosis or hardening of the arteries. So if you don't look at that chemical and you just look at the cholesterol, you miss the big picture. And there are a number of other chemicals that go so in that So heart panel. disease runs in somebody's family, mother, father, it's not enough just to get a basic HDL and LDL test. Is that what you're saying? That's correct. First of all, uh, with regard to the basic cholesterol test, one should look at not just your HDL, for example, but the various types of HDL. There's a, a little bit bigger picture that you should look at in terms of the types and families of the LDL, the HDL, so that's, that's one issue. The second issue is that there are a number of inflammatory chemicals in your blood, all of which are fixable, okay, okay, that will dictate how sticky your blood is. And these things include high, sensitive, high sensitivity C-reactive protein, uh, fibrinogen, homocysteine, methylmalonic acid, insulin. And if you don't look at all of these things, then you're missing the boat. So in your practice, somebody comes in and they want a cardiac risk evaluation? They may come in wanting to know what their cholesterol is or they may come in just for a checkup or they may come in because their brother just had a heart attack. Okay. And in the basic but fairly extensive uh, panel of blood work that we do, all of those tests we just talked about are included. So what I'm picking up on is, okay, so once you get all of these tests, you're trying to lower things like cholesterol naturally rather than just giving Lipitor, for example. That's right. We use uh, dietary intervention, natural subs supplements, and um, have been very successful in improving people's cholesterol, getting, their t getting them to their target goals, uh, making their blood unsticky if you want, and uh, really have not found a patient yet whose biochemistry was not fixable using natural and nutritional methods.